Hello, I'm Abby Lewis. Welcome to On the Map, your daily hit of sunny skepticism about the news of the world. This is a show that opens a window into overlooked stories and offers an alternative take on the ones that dominate the airwaves. And that's where we begin tonight. On the 40th anniversary of the Six-Day War, a report from Amnesty International highlighting the impact of Israel's long occupation of the Palestinian territories. Now, Gaza has been headline news for weeks, and when you think about Gaza, this is probably what comes to mind. Israeli airstrikes and mass arrests of Hamas legislators. Hamas rockets landing on an Israeli town. Palestinian factions battling in the street. Pretty much all the news from Gaza has been about fighting. But there's another dimension here, a humanitarian crisis. According to the Amnesty report, checkpoints, closure and sprawling walls have devastated the Palestinian economy. In Gaza, the combination of isolation and violence has pushed the market further and further underground. So much so that the tunnel trade along Gaza's border with Egypt has taken off. Just yesterday, Israeli tanks pushed into Gaza, leaving behind shattered homes in a search for tunnels. The center of the trade and location of yesterday's raid is Rafah, a town cut in two by a wall. And that's the setting for the short documentary you're about to see. After it, I'll get reaction from Israel's ambassador to Canada. But first, let's take a look at Gaza's underground economy. In 1982, Israel built a wall dividing Rafah in half between Egypt and Gaza. Over the years, Israeli closures have completely isolated the Gaza Strip. Its borders are frequently sealed. Palestinian trade went underground, as everything from food processors to Kalashnikovs were smuggled through tunnels under the Egyptian border. The official Israeli position is that security in Gaza is no longer their responsibility. Palestinian security forces say they have limited means to combat the tunnels. نجيب دخان عد ادوات زراعه اي حاجه زي هيك يعني اللي بتجيب مصارع هنا والله صعب واحيانا يعني في كثير ماتوا في هيك شغل وخطوره فجروا عليك وانت في قلبه بدير عليك ميه يعني ممكن تموت ممكن تروح يعني انت وحظك بخاف أوقات بتشتغل مثلا تقعد سنة أو خمس شهور تشتغل بيطلعش لك ولا حاجة. أوقات يعني بتشتغل بيطلع لك مثلا ألفين خمس آلاف هو بقى بتجيب. والله فيش بني آدم إلا بخاف بس عاد اللي بيخطفوا ربك بصير. ثوروا إنه كل العالم بدمرونا هذول مش لاقيين وطن ولا بدهم وطنهم بدهم بدمروا الناس ويقبضوا مصاري ابن أفراد. When neighbors discover a tunnel, they often turn against the diggers and take the law into their own hands. Before long, the owners of the tunnel appear. In the chaos, someone is injured, but it is not clear how or by whom. Residents call in Hamas's executive force, pleading for protection, but they quickly retreat. Neighbors suggest they may have their own interests in the tunnel. While many oppose the trade, for some it is a very lucrative business. 
في يعني النفق دائما ناجح بس انت وحظك عاد لما تخلص في الاخر ايش بيبقى فيها نوع مختلف واشياء مطلوبه احنا بنجيبها حتى لقطع السيارات كمان اقول لك وليكن في انفاق مين اللي عملها الانفاق هم اسرائيل نفسه ليه عشان كل الطرق مسكره لا في شغله ولا في عامله ايه بدك تسوي انا يعني مش مفروض اشوف ايش اللي بيطلع من عندي فمره تطفل اتطفلت فتحت كيس تخيل ايش لقيت فيه ده ولا مرض القلب قلبه هيك صغير انا مش مغسل وضمن الجنه لقيت انا لما اجيب يجيني واحد زيك يقول لي بدي 2000 طلق لحماس يعتبر مين هذا؟ مش مقاوم ولا ولا؟ ايش حقول له؟ حقول له ما يعني الشغل هذا بيلزمنيش بيا من غير ماشي يعني لو انا رحت مش حوقفها غيري حيمشيها